The GSD says it has pointed out that holders of blue residency cards are being treated differently at the border, despite what it says were promises that they would be treated the same as red card holders pending the end of treaty negotiations. Opposition leader Keith Asobardi says there is no good reason why the promises made to these permanent residents should be broken. He says that in the same way as bridging measures have been extended, it should also be possible to extend the non-stamping of passports belonging to blue card holders, as these cards prove they're residents of Gibraltar and should not be in the same boat as non-resident UK citizens. Mr. Asobardi says this is not just a mere inconvenience, that any entry and exit stamped in the passports of blue card holders will count towards the total of 90 days they can spend in Spain before the requirement for a visa kicks in. He says the previous statement by Spain's Ministry of the Interior that nothing had changed is completely untrue, as is plain to see at the border accusing the Gibraltar government of being markedly silent on this issue and calling on it to do more to find a resolution pending the talks that could take months. For its part, the government says the default position following Brexit and the end of the transition period was the stamping of all UK passports in line with the requirements of the Schengen Border Code. It says as part of the bridging measures during the negotiation of Gibraltar's future EU relationship treaty, Spain unilaterally volunteered not to stamp the passports of those who hold red Gibraltar identity cards or blue civilian registration cards. However, number six says Spain has started to stamp blue card holders' passports following new procedures governing the entry of EU nationals into the UK itself. It says the default position limits what the UK or Gibraltar can actually do. The government says it's relevant to point out that the stamping of all UK passports, regardless of Gibraltar cards, would be the default position if no agreement is reached. This is why it says it identified the importance of frontier fluidity early on, and is working on a treaty based on the New Year's Eve agreement to provide exactly this.